tried to keep them apart. She was visiting a London nightclub for a charity performance of a jazz ballet, and she was greeted by the owner of the Hippodrome, Peter Stringfellow, who introduced her to some other guests, including Boy George. Afterwards, he told Simon Walton that the princess had been intrigued by his dress. She liked my safety pins. She said I should open a shop, right? Oh, I become a shop assistant. She got safety pins all, all the way around here. She said she actually what she said was she was going to buy my record in W. H. Smith's tomorrow. That she had a, uh, a bet with Peter Stringfellow that she was going to buy my records. I said, go on then. So she hasn't got it yet. No, but I said go out and get it, even though it's at number one. <laughs> exactly. Like what about what about the uh, the new record? Is she going to get that one? Well, then, that's what she was talking about. Let it be. So she was going to go and get that. I said, well, go on then. Go to W. H. Smith's and your gorgeous outfit and get it. But it's not released yet, is it? It's Monday. Coming out on Monday? Yeah. Were you expecting to meet her? No, actually when I met her, well, when I went to stand in the queue, the people from back in the valley said, get out of the queue, you're not welcome. <laughs> so I moved along, graciously, I moved out of the Why way. Why did they say that? They said, you're not, you're not on the list. It was so funny. They said, get out of the way. So I moved out of the way and she came over to me. This morning there have been various comments about uh, your, what has been described as a dress in um, the papers. Can you just describe it to us? Well, what the Royal Valley were wearing tights, I thought I would. <laughs> Life must be going pretty well with you. Number one, and let it be coming up, and also meeting the Princess Diana.